Hi, Teacher Dong. First, before we start learning about all these dinos, I'll start by introducing myself. I am Jaden John, the real Jogil. I live in Sejora Solkaima. And welcome to my fourth quarter learning milestone. And also, I have a dye on my hair that changes color. It's it's green and red. It's like it's like magic. But we but we're gonna learn about all these dinosaurs. And we're gonna start with Velociraptor. Velociraptors have sharp claws and they have long tails to make quick turns. It's each curved toe on on their feet and long tail and sharp teeth. This is the Tyrannosaurus Rex and it has small arms but big mouth and 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 it has big teeth and big feet and and this is a gift. And so it can, and if you push this, it will, it will roar like this. So if you press this button, it likes roar, like, like there's a little light inside, like you can all see about that. According to a paleontologist, this dino lived 66 million years ago. During the late Cretaceous period, this dino oh, has a lot, it has big feet with claws on it, with big, wet, and here has giant teeth that are razor sharp, and it has tiny arms with claws. So, this dino was the predator. And this is a carnivore, and this is a carnivore or dino. It's because you can tell about its sharp teeth. It eats meat, and 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 this animal eats other animals. It's it's not to be mean. That's the only way to survive: eating other animals, hunting them down, and eating their bodies. Like eating raw meat. Raw meat! This one is a sticky mollick. And this is one of my Lego Lego collectibles. See, it has Legos. And it's it has, and the color is green and yellow. So, the sticky mollick has horns on its head. A big hard skull, and this is, and it has a hard head and spikes here, here, I mean here, and here, and it, and it has a narrow beak, and it can, and and break to anything. A herbivore that eats plants. It doesn't eat meat, it eats plants. So this eats plants. And we're moving on to the. This is a Carnotaurus. The Carnotaurus has horns, tinier arms than the T-Rex, and it also has spikes on its back, and it has horns, like I mentioned, smaller arms than the T-Wedge, like my sister has, like my sister, like baby arms. It is a carnivore because you can tell of its sharp teeth. Oh, so we're gonna move on to the 
So we're moving on to the ankylosaurus. The ankylosaurus is compared to a tank. Everyone compared to a tank, and and this is like a a living tank. And it has spikes here, 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 and it has a cold tail to protect itself from predators. Moving on. This is an Apocantosaurus, and like I mentioned, it had longer arms. Then, like, um, like, like this, look at the arm difference. Look, 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 longer arms. And it's like the T-Rex, but like, like, with hair on his back. And it's, and the top is red. And this is a kind of boy which has hair on its back. It, it looks like spikes, but it's hair. So it also has sharp teeth, big teeth. If you're around, and if you got shrunk down, it would be big teeth. And it has claws here, here, a long tail. And moving on. This is a pteranodon. And, and this is a pteranodon. If you do this, it will open its mouth. And it has wings, like and a and a narrow beak, and it's a carnivore, but has no teeth because it eats fish. And it has wings that can fly, and like like fly, like fly, like fly around my camera. Now we're doing the Triceratops, and the Triceratops. It's three horns here, 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 and a frill like this, as you can see. Like and this is a herbivore, and it eats plants, not meat. It doesn't eat meat. See, it's not kind of worn off. It's sticking on the metrodome. The Dimetrodon has four legs, is a carnivore, or has like 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 this on its body, a spine. And this is the Argentinosaurus. And this has like long neck, tail to to defend itself from predators. It has a wappy tail to defend it from predators and it it's like the Barkisaurus, but with a longer neck, and if you put it close to my eyes, it looks giant. I have no idea why. And this one, and it has four legs, and it's a herbivore. It doesn't go, oh, it doesn't go like this. It instead it eats from trees. Trees. Moving on. This is the Apatosaurus. This. 70 feet long and it has a wacky tail to defend itself and it has a long leg long tail and has and it's and it has four legs and it's a herbivore moving on this is the stegosaurus it has plates on its back and a herbivore and it has spikes on its tail to defend itself and it has four feet and is a herbivore. You can tell because of the brain. First, it's a good source of brain. Don't mind. Moving on. This is the Styracosaurus. It has sharp horns here, 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 here. It looks like a rhino. And it has a big body, four legs, and is a herbal. This is the Brachiosaurus. It has a long neck and it has a long tail. This is a herbivore. It eats a 
on top of the trees. So we're moving on edges by the trees. This is a Mosasaurus. I thought this was this, but I was wrong. And it has like a long tail, like I mentioned. Back flippers and front flippers, jaws. And if you want to get a, if you want to get a closer look at it, here we go. A carnivores dino. It eats fish, and and you know what? It's and its habitat is the ocean. Where lots of fish live. This is a Parasaurolophus. It has a crest on its head and it has small arms. It, it eats grass and it has a tail. A tail and it, it almost falls. I hope you all have fun learning. And this is my dino collection I play during my free time. Wait, is that a case of a source? And I hope you learned so much about dinos. Bye!